We are at the edge of the Beaver Creek wetlands, and this is Japanese knotweed. It's an invasive species into the wetlands, and they do not want to use chemicals that pollute the water and the air. We're approaching nine billion people on this planet. Nearly 800 million people, that's one in nine, currently are food insecure globally. It's a multi-dimensional problem, and we need a diverse workforce with international savvy and knowledge in agricultural policy, business, and science to combat this challenge. We must find new ways of farming, processing, and distributing food. This is already happening with the addition of sustainable practices in farming, precision agriculture, conservation, and urban gardening, just to name a few initiatives. We want to solve this problem here at Central State, and we have teams of students and faculty that are doing research in precision agriculture to kill weeds without the use of chemicals. We're taking directed energy and adapting that to the field use, agriculture use, and even to trees to try to kill pests in those areas. Our job as an 1890 land-grant institution is to take the research that we do here on campus and then make it applicable to the real world. That includes outreach to the state through the Central State University Corporate Extension Service. And the Extension Service brings signs to the citizens of Ohio. Our county extension offices are located within 10 counties across the state. And we want to bring relevant programs to citizens in Ohio to empower their lives and to make a difference. And we certainly will not grow our industry, grow our population, or even produce food without continuous supply of fresh, clean drinking water and, and the water for other purposes. So there's bright future for water research, for water education, and for water resources management. It really requires multiple disciplines working together. Our International Center for Water Resources Management is also an 1890 land-grant center of excellence for water quality. Students in our center are working on controlling algal blooms in Lake Erie. They are also working on managing water resources for Ohio's oil and gas industry, and they're investigating greenhouse gases in our air from traffic pollution. Central State students cannot wait to solve water problems that their communities have experienced recently. Our graduates serve municipalities, process industry, and agriculture globally. We have to keep this industry successful. We need to sustain this precious resource, both in quantity and quality. Just like our world is changing, so is our industry. Preparing students to adapt to those changes in technology, culture, and our global environment is at the heart of Central State's mission. I firmly believe that our students will use their new education to grow into the leaders and educators of the next generation. They're going to play a huge role in making sure that Ohio remains competitive and relevant in our industry. You know, for uh, Central State to now to be engaged into land grant and to now have an opportunity to provide services, I think that right now that working for Central State University is an opportunity to be uh, a public servant for a whole as opposed to just a few. I think it's an opportunity to see service to be paid in dividends from the perspective of lives changed, uh, people affected. And I believe that right now it is important for us to do an excellent job uh, as we provide these public services because I think that the big part of a land-grant university is to provide service to the citizens that it's in.